All right, we're at another state park. Tennessee has the greatest state parks around, in my opinion. And we're entering into uh, Paris Landing State Park. We're heading toward the uh, hotel <clears throat> area, where it's really, really nice. And of course, by the state, it's gonna be kept really clean. So all the trees are gonna be trimmed that nice. The ground is gonna be clean, no litter. Hotel, uh, from my understanding, has been renovated. Nope, it's been it brand new. It's brand, totally brand new. It's they tore totally this one down. New. Okay, Rebuilt. the other ones they uh, renovated. I had, uh, Montgomery Bell and uh, what was the Fall Creek Falls Ball? are brand new too. Okay, so they do have some brand new. Ones. Okay. <laughs> Just learned from my state investigator that we're getting eight more uh, new state parks here in Tennessee. Which will bring us to a total of how many? We'll have 69. 69 state parks. Yeah, we're getting eight new. We have, we've gotten two new ones somewhere along the way that I just learned about, but um, we're gonna have eight more. So a total of 10 from the 57. If you're like me, I, I wasn't familiar with all the state parks here in Tennessee um, didn't go to them uh, until I got with uh, Melinda but if you're not uh, too familiar with them uh, I advise you to go and check them out they're really nice a real nice outing for family or yourself you can get out and just relax just and enjoy look. nature yeah that's uh, Land between the lakes, Kentucky, mm -hmm. Kentucky Lake. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, Kentucky. huge, huge. Where a lot of big fish are, a lot of big tournaments come. There are the cabins tournaments. that you can rent too. Cabins over there? Uh huh. Okay. Those are the deluxe, the premium cabins. Okay. And this is the hotel. Brand new. It's beautiful here. Beautiful. Big parking lot all the way around. There's plenty of parking spaces here. A uh, few trail, walking trails here. Uh, I think they may do that. They have a bike trail here, right? That you probably could share. We rode our bikes, but I'm not. I'm not sure if there are any trail. It was too cold this time. We just didn't. It was supposed to rain all weekend, so we didn't even bring our bikes this time. Yeah. But, but it didn't rain. It turned out to be a beautiful, sunshiny day. But it is cold, though. It's it probably too cold for me to get out and ride. We did that once. It was not a very pleasant ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the one that has the uh, the pool. Is that right? Uh huh. Yeah, they got a big pool. It's kind of like uh, Cedars of Lebanon State Park. Used to be. Used to yeah. be. Uh -huh. but the hotel has a real nice pool, brand new pool with fire pits and Adirondack chairs and and real ambiance. They have tennis courts, tennis court. mm -hmm. swimming pools over this area. So maybe they still have the pool. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure. But the beach area is down here. <clears throat> of course, you can fish in any of the parks area down here, except from the um, the uh, boat slips. I don't want you to fish around the boat slips. Yeah. That's where we have some have meetings when we come to state parks Over here. for our meetings. Yeah, some sometimes we'll have our meetings there and other state organizations, TGMI, TGEI, we had our meetings uh, here. Really big park, spacious, plenty of parking. All of this right here where we are now is parking. Mm -hmm. You come down. Yeah, 
beautiful picnic areas. They had lots of picnic tables and grills and and they have, um, let me see on here, boat rentals and kayak rentals here, mm -hmm. paddle boats. They have everything you want here. There's a little beach area where you can come swim and spend a day swimming and picnicking. And all that area down there you could fish. Mm -hmm. And that's this old, big, that's a big swimming area. Mm -hmm. they get it swim, roped that's off. the beach area. Yeah. They get it roped off. Yep. I'm thinking this, the pool area was right up here. Yeah, but it looks like there's a lot of construction going on there. Okay. I have to see what they're doing with it. Oh, they have plenty of picnic tables over there. Oh, yeah, there's too. tons of picnic areas. You can t drive up that way. Okay. Mm hmm. Since we live in Lebanon, we love cedar forests, but if you ever want to venture out, this is only a two hour drive from Lebanon. And they have all, and, and this has a lake. I love cedar forest, but really there's not much at cedar forest other than the caves and some and a couple of hiking trails, but. but a lot of picnic tables. Lots and lots of picnic tables. And grills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have a boat, the marina is across the street. And at one time, years and years ago, I know they were, they bragged about Chuck Norris keeping his boat here. <laughs> what? Can you see what coming? Yeah, I can see. Let me go on down. Yeah, those are just picnic areas and around the lake. I keep getting that bug. That bug is on our windshield. I keep trying to avoid. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, that sun glistening on the water. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Just come bring your picnic blanket. Oh, they got tons of picnic tables and and porta potties around, but there are other restrooms. Um, Look at that sitting on a hill. That's really nice. And then here's the view of the inn from the day use area. And then there are reflecting benches there if you want to go and just sit by the weeping willow tree and sit in the bench and look out over the water. Beautiful. Water's low too. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, just want to give y'all a little glimpse of what Paris Landing looked like. We're getting ready to head back to Lebanon. Enjoy. <laughs>